Did you know you can develop an internet software that can serve millions of users all around the world at the same time? Let's talk about cloud computing. Welcome to Codeword Femi. By watching this video, you are going to gain basic understanding of what cloud computing is and you will be able to get started with one of the most powerful cloud computing platforms which is AWS. Let's get into it. Why cloud computing? Traditionally, we host our applications on limited servers. The problem actually starts when our application is visited by massive amount of users that we never catered for. For example, on a busy day like Black Friday, where there is massive amount of traffic flooding into your online application and you cannot undo them. This is why you need cloud computing. Because with cloud computing, you can scale up globally to actually meet the needs of your customers. And that is why I actually use it. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is an on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet on a pay-as-you-go basis. And what does this really mean? It means that instead of you buying, owning, and maintaining physical data centers and servers, you actually just have to pay for the resources you need from a cloud provider such as AWS. What are the common cloud providers that we've got? We have Azure, GCP, AWS, and many more. But I'm going to be speaking mostly on AWS because that is where I've gotten my certification and that is where I've spent most of my time developing enterprise solutions. So let's talk about the deployment models. We have three main deployment models which are public, private and hybrid. And I'm going to paint you guys a simple picture which is when you actually focus on the public model it's more like you being in a bus like your bus you actually take when you're commuting to your office in this bus you're not alone by yourself you're actually with other passengers which means that you're actually sharing the bus with other people and this is what the pub pub public model is like where you actually have the cloud platform shared with other users so let's talk about the private model. The private model is more like you having your own private car where you can actually use to commute to work. And this actually relates to a cloud platform that is actually private and is actually being managed by just one organization. An example would be the government. And you might actually be wondering why, you know, why do we have private? It's because there are cases where you deal with policies, you know, data protection, security, and, and many more reasons. And the final one is the hybrid, which is which I will relate to a cab. And in this actual model, it is actually the combination of the public and the actual private functions. So let's talk about the types of cloud computing. We have IaaS, which is infrastructure as a service. This actual cloud computing model is actually the one that gives you the IX flexibility. You can be able to, you know, deploy your application, also control your operating system. You can decide on what kind of operating system you want to have. So in this kind of model, you actually manage your application, your data, your runtime, your middleware, and your operating 
operating system. So the actual cloud providers, they are the ones responsible for things like visualization, servers, storage, and networking. So in a case where you want to, for instance, on AWS, you want to provision EC2. This is actually an, a, an example of infrastructure as a service. Now let's move on to the next one, which is PAAS, which stands for platform as a service and this actually enables you to deploy your application and data without having to worry about the underlying operating system you don't have to worry about the hardware or the storage or trying to see how you want to patch it or security issues you just worry about the application and the data isn't that really cool and then we have the final one which is software as a service this is actually the one that the cloud provider provides you with a, 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 a complete product that is running. You know, you don't have to worry about the, the what you know how the software has been developed. All you just have to do is subscribe to that actual software and use it. So an example will be a web-based email, or for instance, Netflix because you go on there and you actually subscribe to watch, but you don't know how the actual software is being developed or is being maintained. Um, now let's talk about AWS. AWS was launched 20 years ago and it's a subsidiary of Amazon. It is a cloud computing platform that provides on-demand IT resources to individuals, companies, and governments on a pay-as-you-go basis. The top companies using AWS are Netflix, BBC, Adobe, Airbnb, and actually many more. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put in a link of all the case studies of these different companies, why Amazon is really powerful and why you should actually be considering using it for your next project. So what do you need to open an online AWS account? You need the link to the actual platform, which I would provide in the description below. And as well as you need a payment card just to verify yourself. It is quite a seamless process to actually complete it. And once you complete it, you are actually given access to all the tons of services you can actually play with and the, the amazing part of it is that you get free credits to be able to play around with the services you don't have to spend a dime and another thing i actually find very exciting is that there are some services on aws that is provided for you for free for life i'm going to put all the links in my description so that you guys can actually start playing around with aws and one of the plan is to actually start touching each of the services on AWS in my future videos. Now that you've gained basic understanding of cloud computing, you can actually check out this video on how I became AWS certified cloud practitioner. That's it guys, let's keep coding.